In this video, I'm going to review the StreamX X1 Pro Android Smart Media Player box. If you are interested in having thousands of live TV channels, movies, or TV shows, this box is something you may want to consider purchasing. We will be looking at its functions, hardware, and software, including streaming live TV and video on demand, VOD. I will show you how to set up and use this Android TV box as a media entertainment device. This video is made into these sections so that you can easily find and watch the information from this video. Continue watching to learn about the StreamX X1 Pro Android TV box. If you're new to this channel and interested in detailed tech and gadgets reviews, you can follow this channel for future technology contents. This is the StreamX X1 Pro product box with the brand, the model, and the image of the product printed here. This TV box comes with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. It has voice control and comes with Android 12 operating system. Some of the main features are printed here and at the side. Now, let's open the box to see its contents. These are everything that came in the box. The StreamX X1 Pro Android TV box, an IR remote control, a user guide, a power adapter, and a HDMI cable. The StreamX X1 Pro has a full plastic body construction. At the top, the brand name is printed with a nice looking design on the side. In front is the LED display panel and the model name is printed. On the side, this is a micro SD card slot, USB 3.0 port, USB 2.0 port, and a restore pinhole in case you need to reset this device. There are ventilation holes here. At the back, these two antennas can be adjusted to get the best possible Wi-Fi signal. Most of the ports are available at the back. This is the DC IN power port, IR, AV port, HDMI out port, LAN Ethernet port, and SBDIF digital audio. On the other side are more ventilation holes. At the bottom, there are four anti-skid rubberized feet that provide good grip on flat surfaces and more ventilation holes. In the middle is the product model name, serial number, and MAC address. This remote control feels quite light and has all the standard buttons. There's dedicated TV control buttons, a mouse cursor button, and voice control button. The back of the remote has pairing and programming instructions printed on the surface. This remote requires two AAA batteries, which are not included. Included is a simple user guide, which covers product specification, connection settings, configurations, and troubleshooting information. I will explain a lot more in this video, so please continue watching. Now let's get this device started. Connect the HDMI cable to a display, connect the power adapter, and turn on power. The Android splash screen displays the StreamX logo and animation, which took 30 seconds to come to the disclaimer notice screen. This Android media box does not have the entertainment apps pre-installed. It is up to the users to get needed apps from app stores and comply with any copyright laws. To proceed, click Agree. Here, you can choose to connect via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I'm connecting to a Wi-Fi network. Next, use the remote control up or down arrow keys to adjust and fit the screen display. Then click Finish and the StreamX home screen loads. StreamX has an easy to use and practical interface. There are large tile-like icons for live TV, VOD, playback, and others. These nine plus icons below allow you to add or customize your favorite app shortcuts. If you click on the live TV icon, there is nothing there. And under VOD, it is the same. These apps are not pre-installed on this box and there are a few easy steps to get them up and running in this box. The icons on the sidebar provide links to important functions. The gear icon is the Android settings where you can set the device preferences and configurations. The file manager allows you to manage local files or connected USB devices for media playback or file access. The system optimizer cleans and optimizes the memory and system. This is useful when the system feels a little slow. This internet speed test allows you to check your current connection speed. The bin icon is to uninstall apps. Currently I have not installed any app, so it is empty for now. The microphone icon is to manage the remote control pairing process. Follow on-screen instructions to pair. Next is the mapping of hotkeys on the remote. You can set each number to launch a different app. Last is the various contact channels for StreamX customer support. Scan the QR code to access. Now let's look at StreamX X1 Pro hardware specifications. This is an Xdroid board surprisingly shown as manufactured by Google. It comes with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage.
However, it is reporting a lower amount here. Bluetooth 4 is supported in this device. The CPU system on chip SOC is a hybrid all-winner H313 H616. It has a four-core ARM Cortex A53 processor running between 480 to 1512 megahertz. For graphics, the GPU is a single-core ARM Mali G31. It supports the OpenGL 3.2 standard. The installed Android is version 12 with API level 31. This device is rooted and that allows a user perform actions such as changing the operating system, replace or alter settings and system applications, install custom themes, and download specialized apps. The integrated graphics processing unit supports Vulkan API, which is a low-level, low-overhead, cross-platform API and open standard for 3D graphics and computing. Google Play Store is available, and you can get a lot of Android apps. As you can see, there's a wide variety of app selection that you can install and use. There is a large number of entertainment apps that you can install and use, which includes paid subscription services and free streaming apps. The Australian channel apps are free to use, but they work only in Australia. If you are into music, there is also a good selection of apps that you can enjoy with this Android TV box. I can't show you how to install the streaming apps due to the platform guidelines, but I will explore the external apps just to check out what they provide. Please comply with the law and regulations of your country when it comes to content access or use. I will skip showing the app installations and go straight to the apps to test. These are the apps that I'm going to check and test, and I have added them to the shortcut icons for quick access. Echo TV for live TV channels, Echo VOD for movies and TV shows, Echo Playback and Backup TV. The Echo TV app lists more than 1,400 channels and many channels that I randomly checked loaded at reasonably quick, even when I am connected to a Wi-Fi. I did not experience any lag while the stream was playing. While watching a TV channel, pressing the remote left button lists all TV channels and channel search options. This makes it easier to find a channel than scrolling a long list. If you press the OK button on the remote, you get all the channels listed. To bookmark a channel, press the OK button for three seconds. Press the left key and you get channel categories for all favorite network TV, regional locals, sports networks, 24-7, PPV events, NBA, MLB, NFL, and many more. The available channels cover entertainment, movies, news, documentaries, children, sports, and many more. What I like here is the favorite tab where my bookmark channels appear saving me time of scrolling the entire list of channels. Now let's look at Echo VOD, the video on-demand app. It has tabs called Recommended, Newest Movies and TV Series. On the main screen, there are shortcut buttons for search function, favorite bookmarked movies, watching history and settings. On the Movies tab, clicking on Movies icon gives options to search, filter, or navigate movies through 26 categories. There are more than 13,000 movies available in the app. All Genres here shows page 1 of 1376, which shows 10 movies per page. Navigating through the categories loads the movie list within it, and that makes it easier to find a movie to watch. On the TV Series tab, clicking on the TV Series icon gives options to search, filter, or navigate movies through 28 categories. There are more than 3,000 TV shows available in the app. All Genres here shows page 1 of 305, which shows 10 TV series per page. Navigating through the categories loads the TV series list within it, and that makes it easier to find a TV show to watch. Playback app has a list of channels where you can find past seven days of shows. If you missed any live TV shows, this is where you can come back to catch up on programs. Although there are more than 1,000 live TV channels, the playback feature is currently available for 85 channels. The Backup TV app is an alternative if you are having issues with the main apps. It has tabs for live TV, recommended, newest movies, TV series, and settings. Live TV are also categorized to make it easier to find channels. DRM, or Digital Rights Management, is a way of protecting contents from piracy. To stream and play HD quality videos from services like Netflix, Disney Plus, or Prime Video, the device needs to have DRM security level L1. This Android TV box is only certified for L3, so you can't stream HD or 4K quality videos from those protected services. If you don't have a Netflix, Disney Plus, or Paramount Plus account, you can get them at a discounted rate at this website. Check out the link in the comment or description to enjoy the discounted price. Now let's test playing 4K video files and see the playback performance of this Android TV media box. This is a 4K trailer of a movie 
and the video playback seems to be good. Fast forwarding works well too. The StreamX X1 Pro plays 4K quality local video files without any problem. If you like to watch 4K quality movies, this Android media box seems to handle local files really well. Let's look at an internet browser app. Google Chrome is installed by default, and the shortcut can be found on the home interface. I use Chrome on a daily basis, so this is one that I'm very comfortable using on this Android TV box. You can also install and use other internet web browsers shown here, as they are available in the Google Play Store. However, they are not commonly known browsers. Let's test playing a 3D game in this Android box. The game is called Riptide GP2. This is just a demonstration of game performance and graphics in the StreamX X1 Pro Android TV box. The graphics are not the best, but I did not experience lag, so this 3D game is quite playable. Although you can play games in this box, it is not suitable for heavy 3D gaming performance. To summarize, StreamX X1 Pro is a great Android media box for live TV and video on demand VOD playback. When apps are installed, it has thousands of live TV channels, movies and TV series updated frequently for endless entertainment. The user interface is very easy to use and has a responsive interface and navigation. Applications are generally loaded quickly and provide a good experience. For K local video files play without any problem. But I also have some concerns about this TV box. 3D games play, but the graphics quality is poor. It does not have the DRM security level support to play Netflix in HD or 4K. Other common internet browsers, such as Mozilla Firefox, are not available in Google Play. I will continue to test this box and may report any updates on its reliability and updates in my future videos, so stay in touch. That's all for this review, and I hope this video has been useful for you. On TechTube TV, I make easy to understand videos on technology related topics. If you like my content, please consider clicking the subscribe button to follow my future video uploads. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.